Alrighty guys, what is up? Welcome back to Satisfactory Update 8 with Lone Debater 7. And today, we are over on the oil side of our factory. And the reason for this is we are going to set up a little build to get us black powder and smokeless powder. This is kind of what the goal is for today. Um, I went out and found a sulfur node, got some sulfur kind of put together and started doing some MAM research on it. So yeah, we're gonna set up a little build. Um, smokeless powder requires refineries and it requires this heavy residual oil, which we have a ton of, frankly. Um, if we start running low, I can always come back through here and decommission one or two of these fuel refineries and it'll, it'll be just fine. But anyway, guys, uh, if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. It really helps me out. Also, drop a like on the video if you enjoy the content. Um, you can take it back at the end of the video if you didn't like it, of course. But uh, it really helps me out if you drop a like. Um, put any comments in the description. with uh, or If you have any questions, put them in the comment section. I'll get to it. In the description is a list of all the mods I'm using. I'm playing with buildable resource nodes and uh, refined power. Those are the two. So... Just bear that in mind that's why i can do some of the stuff if you're not playing with mods you won't be able to do it but the description will tell you what i'm playing with so let's do this well we'll do that last um or not last but towards the end so in order to build what i want to build i need black powder and then i need refineries as well the way this ratio works out if i look at black powder it takes 15 sulfur 15 coal and it will generate 30 black powder per minute, right? So if I put an impure node with a Mark II miner, which is what I have enough coal for, I will get 60 per minute. So I can run four of these machines for a total of, what is that, 120, right? Okay, so we can generate 120. Then if we come over to the refinery, smokeless powder requires 20 black powder and 10 heavy oil residue for each one of these I place. So I kind of want to store a little bit of black powder as well. I, I don't know if I need to convert all of it or not. So I'm going to start out just running three smokeless powder refineries to give us 60 per minute. Um, and then the remaining 60 black powder that we generate will come out or will be stored in the box. I'm going to use this single line to run everything back um, and then do like a sushi sort belt at the box end um, all that means is i'm carrying two types of items on this conveyor belt one of those items is going to be our smokeless powder the other one will be our black powder so yeah that's kind of the plan get these plugged in i'm going to need another power pole we'll grab that in a minute set the recipes on these bad mamas smokeless powder is what we are after now let's get the black powder kind of squeezed in so black powder has to be fed in is the thing and it's built in assemblers so what i can maybe look at trying to do here something let me do it from the front a little easier to align them one two three and well actually no i want a little bit more space than that because i want to merge all these bring them along and then split them off individually so i'll actually end up extending this platform out one line i know it's getting dark i'm sorry about that um it seems like it gets dark when i start recording quite frequently and i apologize but uh yeah. is what it is so there we go just build some floors so i can walk these bad boys are gonna need a power pole so we'll come over here grab them a power pole this is going to be all black powder we should get 120 black powder from four assemblers, so that's not bad. 
I could also, you know, overclock them. I found a bunch of power slugs, so I am sitting on like 15 of these or 14 of these, so I could overclock these and reduce the machine count. But, meh, doesn't matter. Does not matter in the slightest. So, I think, actually, it maybe makes more sense to do the merge in this direction. Because then I can put the smart splitter at the feed into the refineries as opposed to after it. I think this will work just fine. Uh, this probably needs to be marked too. Because it's 30 from each machine, so yeah, it probably needs to be marked too at that point. It's fine, it's going to be Mark 3 after this one anyway. Just because okay there's that easy enough now I need a smart splitter Basically, we're going to set this to overflow, and then left is going to be set to any. What that'll do is it'll push everything down to the left first. Once the left is full, it will then push. Whoa. I don't know what happened there. Went flying. Glad I have a jetpack so I didn't take a bunch of fall damage. Yeah, this is a low amount, so going into the refineries can definitely be Mark 1. I'm gonna say, that one felt like it was going a little close, but... Sure. Okay, that's fine, I guess. Now we do need to get some piping in here. This is ultimately going to take a total of 40 heavy oil residue, so that's not that much, frankly. But I am going to use Pipeline Mark IIs, I think. Bring them up to a height, too. Run it along this line, I think. You know what? This doesn't matter that much. Because I'm going to delete this part ultimately. residual oil in there so perfect I am gonna just color this pipe quickly so I do not forget what is inside of it later I know it'll be pretty obvious but might as well do it while I'm thinking about it yeah so all right we need to get sulfur and coal inside of these machines so that's pretty easy all we're gonna need to do is place our resource node so we've got an impure coal Put it on this end. Impure coal can go in this box for foundation. And our impure sulfur can go right next to it. Not a foundry, but a minor mark too. Boom and boom.
I want to run it like that just because. So, okay, these guys. I mean, I could get fancy with the split, but I think... Do something like this. I'm not super worried about the efficiency of this. I just need some of the smokeless dust. I know that, or I'm pretty sure that it is used in uh, making the, what you call it, the uh, it's likely used in the rifle ammo. So having a reasonably good supply of this should be quite helpful. So, okay. All we got to do, and this doesn't need to be a Mark III, I'm just using it anyway, so fine. Put both of those in there, and the, I, I guess what I could do if I want to expand this further, I can always improve these to a normal or a pure node and then add more assemblers. Pipelines to deliver the heavy oil residue. Okay. Just waiting on black powder is what it looks like, which is coming out now. Oh, it would help if I actually connected this in. Huh. So we stored some black powder, that's fine. Now all of it should be diverting to the left until we saturate these refineries. Now, I do need a merger. And we're going to merge these all together and then put them on the same line that the black powder is going on to. smokeless powder will go through if we have any extra black powder it will also feed through and we'll kind of just take that as it is now based off of what this this will generate us uh what 60 80 smokeless powder a minute is what we're gonna get did i build four instead of three hmm. okay fine so this will give us 80 smokeless powder a minute and that means we'll get slightly less than 60 black powder a minute as well this is where it gets sorted and stored so i have this smart splitter configured black powder goes out the front smokeless goes up to the right 
right goes into this box. Left goes into this box. So we have black powder. And the box next to it is going to be our smokeless powder. Cool. Um, just to take a peek while we're here, let's go ahead and place the ma'am down. And just see what the next tier is going to be if we can unlock it. So I'd like to get the rifle. And I kind of want to see what rifle ammo costs, if that makes sense. So production... I don't know what it's built in either, so let's see. Is it just a constructor? It is not. Assembler. So it's copper sheet and smokeless powder. Okay. So if we put in some copper over here, we could actually build ourselves the... We could build the ammo over here too, which I do have copper ore over here now that I think about it. So, how much did it say it needed? So it needs 15 sheet a minute and a constructor doing sheeting. We'll give you 10 for 20 so I can get 30 of them. For 60, which means I can do a Mark II Miner on a, pure, on a Tier 2 node. That that should be sufficient. That'll run two assemblers, so meh, whatever. Let's go ahead and build the portable miners. We'll go build the rifle ammo, and we'll actually probably integrate that onto the same sushi line and have it go into the third box that I have chilling over there. So I need five copper. By five, I mean 500, but... Hopefully that made sense. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and figure this bad boy out first. So, I guess what we do, put another one there. This will do any out this side, and out the right, it will just be taking rifle ammo, I think is how I do this. And I can take a little lifty. Actually, throw the lifty on this guy. Three to three. And really, this means I should probably upgrade this to a Mark IV belt. Let's see if we have enough in case beam. At least up to where they merge. So if I do something like that and merge the rifle ammo in right there, that could work. Okay. So that's fine, then I can build this along this way, maybe. So I needed, what, copper sheet and then this smokeless powder, and I can probably run two of these. Trying to decide if I want to block this. Probably makes more sense to run it back here. Just so I can keep our expansion in this direction possible with the refineries. Right? So, okay. Rifle ammo. And rifle ammo. Grab a merger. Now this is 75 for each of these, so we should have like a ton of rifle ammo com coming out of these when it's all said and done. Then 
And I also need copper sheet. So that's pretty easy. Well, I guess, you know what? We're going to change this because I need to build a copper sheet. And if we're going to expand this, we'll just, you know, figure something out with the refinery pipe. That's the main thing that's kind of cumbersome to uh, bridge across these machines like this, but I'm not too worried about it. So we'll set up rifle ammo and cool. We need copper sheet. There's going to be three constructors worth. Ugh, can't fit it there. Darn it. Then I'm going to need two smelters, right? Then what you do is you split this one, merge off of this one, and then split again. actually what you do something like this okay these need to be copper and I need to place the copper node and miner which let me put right here. It's gonna say, I know I grabbed the copper, right? Okay, there's that. Now... I know I'm not doing perfect bends, but you know what, it's okay. Okay, make a really ugly belt, but that's all right.
there is our smokeless powder. So we should have rifle ammo being built momentarily. Let's go ahead. Now, if I put it on this, well, the only problem is, is it'll loop through the rifle ammo. So I do need to run it on its own line. Okay, there we go. There they go, boys. Our shooty shooties. Great. We'll re put down the ma'am. I don't recall what else was underneath this, but I think that's probably going to wrap it up for today. Um, I hope you guys found that useful in figuring out how to build your rifle ammo factory. Um, that's the first time I've ever done it, so I, I thought it was pretty straightforward, but we will get the six extra inventory slots. That's helpful. I'll try to get some hard drives so I can get turbo fuel unlocked and then kind of pick and choose what I want to get from here. But guys... Uh, this is going to end it here for today. If you enjoyed the episode, be sure to like, comment, subscribe as always. And until next time, this has been Lone Debater 7, and we will see ya.